I want to show you the system I use to handle more than half of the emails I receive automatically. It saves me tons of time, and you'll see how easy it is to implement it yourself using our favorite tools, Notion and Tally. And it's also a great example of three of my core tenets of productivity, which are to structure, standardize, and automate at every opportunity. So structure is the inverse of freeform. Spreadsheets and databases are far more usable than open-ended pages. And when you standardize, you create frameworks and templates to avoid starting from scratch for any content you create or procedure you follow recurringly. And to automate is to let computers handle any actions you can define with logic. If this happens, then do that. So my system leverages these principles through two key pillars. My published FAQs handle more than half of the emails I receive from prospective clients and users of my resources. And then for those FAQs that require information, a tightly structured contact form allows them to specify their objective, such as inquiring about my consulting, requesting a student or nonprofit discount, or updating their membership in Notion A to Z. And then the form displays only the questions for that objective. And the objective also dictates how how the form processes their submission. Sometimes it triggers an automation and other times it filters into a label in my inbox. And in general, forms are just an incredibly effective and widely beneficial way to collect information of any kind and eliminate unwanted senders. So together, these two pillars form what I call the Formax system. They're really powerful together, but if just one makes sense for you, they both save loads of time on their own so you can waste less time in your inbox and focus where it counts. And then I use an email alias to orchestrate the workflow. Anywhere I expose an email address, whether I'm registering for a service or delivering a resource or sending a newsletter, I use an alias email address. And then anytime an email is sent to that address, it replies automatically, politely directing the sender to my FAQs. And then any FAQ that requires a unique request or additional information directs the user to my conditional contact form. So let's walk through the steps to configure the format system. I'm going to use Notion for the published FAQs and Tally for the contact form. And I've made my FAQs and form available as templates for you to duplicate and customize. They're available to members of Notion A to Z, and anyone else can grab them from the Productivity Nexus link in the video description. So first you want to publish your FAQs. And you can use whichever publishing platform you prefer, but Notion is really the simplest way to publish content at a custom domain with a great user experience. And if you haven't used Notion, it's a new kind of app that's really redefining productivity. I've linked to it in the video description along with Notion A to Z, which is the best way to get the most from Notion. But before you publish your FAQs, you'll likely need some time to aggregate them. And for me, the best way to do that is to make a note whenever I find myself rewriting a response to a question I know I've already answered. And as you do that, also make note of which questions require information to be submitted, such as project details for a consulting request. And once you've prepared your initial FAQs, you can organize them in your publishing platform and polish your responses. In Notion, I like to make the main page a gallery of categories. And then within each category, I use a toggle heading for each question with its answer inside it. And then you can publish your FAQs as a website from the share menu at the top right of Notion. And for the domain, I like to use a subdomain of the website the questions correspond with. So for these, I use pub.notion.vip. And then you can move on to your contact form, which you'll link to from the FAQs requiring additional information. I like to create my forms in Tally because it feels just like Notion, it integrates well with other apps, it supports conditional logic, and it can be published to a custom domain or subdomain. So in this case, I use form.notion.vip. And to really maximize the user experience and the usability of the information that they submit, I recommend including a multiple choice question where the sender can indicate their objective, and each option will correspond with one of your FAQs. And that allows you to use Tally's conditional logic to show only the questions needed for the selected objective. And with Tally's integrations, you can trigger objective-specific automations. So for example, my form allows users to update their email address used within Notion A to Z. And it automatically feeds those submissions into Airtable where I manage members. And then an automation updates their information. And once your form is live, you want to make sure it's properly linked from the FAQs that reference it. And then lastly, you can protect your email address by configuring an alias that automatically replies with a polite request to visit your FAQs. Google Workspace and Outlook make it easy to add an alias and then configure an auto-reply. 
And of course, you could also create a free account with Gmail or Hey. So like I said, any of these components alone will save you tons of time while helping your contacts resolve their needs quickly. And for a head start, you can grab the FAQ and form templates in Notion A to Z or Productivity Nexus. And let me know in the YouTube comments if you have any questions.